What's going on guys? Drew with Profit Monsters. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Danny, and today we are in the shed. We had a crazy weekend of sales. Uh, I really don't know what happened. I just have been listing consistently, so I'm probably attesting all of the sales to that. But as you can see, we've got sales up here. I've got some boxed up already. This whole box of sales and then all these shoes over here. So we are going to go over everything that sold this weekend and hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you have some bolos. I sold across multiple marketplaces this weekend and so we're just gonna jump right into it. Starting off with Depop because that was my worst performing platform this weekend which was still really good. <laughs> So first off, I sold this pretty basic Red Hot Chili Peppers t-shirt. It was a men's medium and it had a couple of flaws in it. I got this for like 25 cents at a church thrift store a really long time ago and it sold for $20 plus shipping. Now the great sale is this shirt right here. If you guys, any of you guys know the band Ministry, uh, the song Jesus Built My Hot Rod, this is a shirt from that band and it is completely distressed and uh, torn apart, well not torn apart, but there's some holes in it right there as you can see. The collar is torn, but here is the tag, Brockham Group, made in the USA, size XL. This shirt, I listed it for $299, and someone on Depop offered me $250 plus shipping, so I took it. So a great start to the weekend sales right there. Okay, jumping over to my first eBay store. If you guys don't know, I have two eBay stores. I have the original one when I first started reselling, and then I started a second one about a less than a year ago when I did a bulk buyout uh, from a guy named Nico. You can go check that out on my channel. I wanted to keep record of how much money I was making from that buyout. And then that store was performing really good. And at the time, I had gotten the Allbirds Vero on my other store. So I started listing on that one. And now I'm actually building that one up uh, as my main store. I'm using the other one, kind of slowing it down. But anyway, so we're going to go to that main store first. And this right here, this Purdue Boilermakers Windbreaker, I know it's kind of hard to see. I sold, I accepted an offer of $27 plus shipping. And that is right here in this padded flat rate envelope. I had started to pack up some stuff and uh, over the weekend and I said, you know what, let me wait and finish, make a video for this. So that is in there for $27 plus shipping. And then in this box right here, we have a coach purse. This was actually my wife's from when we first started dating. As you can see, the listing is like on a piece of poster board. This is such an old listing. I think I had it listed for $25 and uh, we would countered back and forth a while and I finally got to a $17 offer from the buyer and I just accepted it because it's been sitting for so long. So happy to move that $17 plus shipping. Moving on, I sold a bundle of two Nerf guns. These were Asher's that he stopped playing with, so I have basically zero buy cost into them. But this is what they kind of look like right here. Uh, this is one of them. They are a Nike Dart tag, or not Nike, Nerf Dart tag. And I sold an orange and a green one right here for $35, free shipping. It's probably going to cost me about 8 to 10 bucks to ship. Uh, one, one of the lower tier sales. Next up is a pair of Nike free TR focus flyknit racers now i'm going to be showing you guys a lot of shoes this weekend because that's what i have been getting a lot as i've been going to flea markets and thrifting with my buddy dalton we've just been finding a lot of shoes and so that's what i have really been killing it with and so uh but i do have some other stuff hopefully it helps you out but here they are as you can see with the the listing right there nike free focus flyknit these are 39 dollars free shipping and these should go first class pretty easily so let's see we got 12 ounces on those so yes those will go first class which is awesome and uh yeah we'll go to the next sale we sold a pair of brooks gts 20s this model right here and these sold for 41 dollars plus shipping uh these are in pretty worn condition on the top this was in a recent buy that i did with dalton where we split the shoes and uh, this was kind of one of the lower tier shoes i think we paid five bucks for this but then our average buy cost for that buyout because we got some crazy stuff ended up being about eleven dollars a pair so 41 dollars plus shipping still not bad and then this was probably my best sale uh on this store right here we sold a vintage budweiser leather golf bag for $300 free shipping and this was actually in that bulk buyout that I did from my buddy Nico and uh, this was one of the ones that I held on to for a really long time because I was kind of expecting this to really help push the sales but I've been making so much sales from that buyout I think I'd have to go look at the numbers but I'm pretty sure I'm well over like 
close to five to seven thousand dollars in sales on that buyout maybe even more honestly i've sold so much it's not even funny but that golf bag is right here there are golf bag boxes you can buy from u-haul uh, but I didn't feel like going to U-Haul this weekend, and I had two U-Haul small boxes, so I stood them up, uh, laid the flaps out straight, and the golf bag, I bubble wrapped it, and then it slid perfectly in these two boxes, and then I taped it up. Not the most beautiful box, but it'll get there safely, and it's going to New York, so I don't know how much it's going to cost me yet, uh, but at the end of the video, when I do the shipping um, on this and then this sale, when I get to it, I will let you guys know how much it cost me to ship, but... Uh, basically the way that I worked out my buyout with Nico is that every single item I put as like a $4 buy cost and, uh, based on how many items that I had purchased, cause I paid $1,500 for everything. So instead of just figuring out how to minus everything out, I just did an average buy cost. And then anything over that is pretty much profit. So I guess you could say a $4 buy cost on here and a $300 sale. Not too many sales on the old store. Obviously, I really haven't been listing on there pretty much since almost December. So, uh, but these Sublime Bronze L'Oreal uh, self-tanning gel packs. This is the last one that I have. I got a bunch of these at the flea market with Dalton sometime last year, probably around November. I paid uh, like 50 cents each for these and I sold all of them for anywhere between $30 and $40. This one sold for $40 free shipping. It is crazy what discontinued beauty products can sell for. So guys, don't sleep on discontinued beauty products. Easy, easy money. All right. So my now main eBay store and Poshmark really popped off this weekend for me. I think I have 17 sales going out on the eBay store and I think close to 15 to 20 sales going out on Poshmark. So let's jump into that. We are going to start with some shoes. I sold some Nike SFB tactical boots. I had Put every, I had pulled all the sales already because my shed is a little messy and it would have doubled the time of this episode. But I sold these Nike boots right here for $75? $85 plus shipping. These were in one of my recent buyouts. Again, I love doing buyouts. These were in one of my recent buyouts where I had went uh, and bought a bunch of speakers. If you guys saw that video where I bought the Bose speakers. Um, these are like Nike free run uh, boots right here, tactical boots. There's a the little Nike logo. They really don't say Nike anywhere else, but if you are familiar with the Nike free model of shoes, this is like a lightweight tactical military shoe or boot. So those are pretty cool. I think I listed those at 99 and uh, accepted an offer of 85. Moving on, this was in a box, um, another wholesale box that my footage actually got corrupted, but I bought this from my friend Uriah or Gucci Deadhead on Instagram. These Hoka's were probably one of the worst shoes that were actually in the box, and I still decided to list them there. The Stinson ATR 5s, and as far as worst, it's just because they were extremely worn, and I still sold them for $30 plus shipping. So I will take that. My buy cost was about $11 a pair from him because there were some good stuff in there, uh, and it was shipped from Oregon. So I'm happy with that sale. Next up is a pair of Alakai men's shoes. These right here, uh, I got at the flea market by myself two weekends ago. I got three pairs of Alakai's for $5 each. Uh, but that weekend I went, I did, an, uh, I did an entire buyout of someone's booth. And I will explain that in a minute because I have some of those sales going out. But I paid $5 each for these, but my buy cost was about $14.50 on an average buy cost for everything I bought because I bought a booth of like 67 pairs or 66 pairs of shoes for like $980. And so it averaged out with the lower tier stuff or lower price stuff that I got at the flea market plus that one booth to about $14.50 a pair, which is still really good for what I got. I'm absolutely killing it with that haul. And you guys are gonna see that here in a minute. Next up is a Rainbow E2 Series Gold Vacuum with the power nozzle. This sold for $200 plus shipping. That is what is in this box right here, guys. As you can see, if you follow me on Instagram, I put a little story on my Instagram about how I boxed this up, but I separated all the compartments and then I bubble wrapped it and then I double boxed it because the one box wasn't tall enough with the, uh, the nozzle rod is what you call it, I guess. And so that was um, why I had to double box it, but it also just makes it more secure for packing so I'm happy with that. Another great sale. I paid $10 for that at a local thrift store. I couldn't believe the price. 
and uh, it was actually really dirty. I spent like probably a like an hour or two cleaning it out. I think someone had used it on like a house flip or something. It was like full of drywall and stuff. So I did have to clean it pretty specifically, but it ended up working out. Uh, if you guys saw another video where I picked up a bunch of uh, LP laser discs and a laser disc player, I'm way in the profit on this buy, but they are still selling slowly but surely. This was one of the lower tiered uh, lasers. This is the Parent Trap. It sold for $10 plus shipping. My best sale on this eBay store this weekend it was not the Rainbow Vacuum. It's actually these Air Force Ones right here. So again, I just told you guys that I did that buyout where I had $14.50 into each pair. And these Air Force One acronyms, I did not even know the value of these when I bought them. I just thought that they were um, Air Force Ones, you know, the high tops or whatever. But these are sweet. When I looked them up, there was only three listed and uh, I think one sold. And the three listeds were around $399 each. So I listed mine because I didn't have the box for $350. And I did have a coupon for 11% off anything in my store. And someone applied the coupon. And so these sold for $311 plus shipping. And they are going to Hong Kong. So again, $14.50 into $311 is absolutely crazy. Danny's over here doing the shipping, which is awesome. Moving on, another pair of shoes from that $14.50 buyout is these Nike Roshis right here. These are the Roshi Run Print Santa Monica Sunrise shoes. And again, everything I got from that buyout at, that I was just telling you guys about was like almost in new condition or like new condition. You can see there's still like inserts in these shoes. Someone either wore these like once or twice and then I don't know what happened, but those um, I had listed for $89 and I accepted a best offer of $69 plus shipping uh, this weekend. A little bit of a lower sale, uh, but I'm still just trying to move inventory is, let me get them out. All of these shoes are sold guys. This is crazy. Can't wait to show you them. These vans right here. So these vans I had listed for, I think, uh, $49.99 plus shipping, which is way too expensive. But I always list my stuff high and then take offers. And I finally got someone to offer me $28.50 plus shipping. So I decided to take that because, you know, vans are kind of a dime a dozen. There's a ton listed. So I'm happy with that sale. Next up is some Air Jordan Low Game Royal Limes. That is these shoes right here. And these were in that buyout as well for $14.50 a pair. For $14.50 a pair. And uh, these were actually, my goodness. Uh, these were actually missing a lace, as you can see. I'm going to try to get a little bit better lighting here. They were missing one of the purple laces. So I just took an extra lace that I had that was black to try to match it. And I guess make it look quote unquote cool. Uh, but... Um, I didn't want to list it as just a missing lace, so I threw something on there. Super clean on the bottom, and uh, these sell for somewhere around like $100, maybe a little bit higher with the matching laces, uh, one up to $150 with the box. And so I accepted an offer this weekend of $80 plus shipping on these shoes. <sighs> Next up is a Vera Bradley backpack. I actually haven't pulled this yet because I forgot. Uh, but I sold this Vera Bradley backpack for $30 free shipping. I'm pretty sure I got this at a garage sale for like a dollar or two. So that was a nice little sale. I don't sell a lot of that kind of stuff anymore. So um, yeah, moving on. I sold this Wrangler Hero Sherpa vest right here. If I can lay it out for you. These Sherpa vests, I always love picking them up when I find them at thrift stores and, and garage sales. And this one, I think I paid $6 for at the City Thrift by my house. And it sold, I accepted an offer of $25 plus shipping. I sold another pair of Jordans. These were actually from a, um, these were from a pawn shop actually. And I have to get these. So I'll show you guys how I do this. I don't think I pulled them yet. These are a men's size nine, which my size nine bin is outgrowing itself. I need a third one, but this is how I organize my shoes by size. And so I have them all in the size nine bin. There you go. There's one. And let's find the other Jordan. Just, I don't know. Should be right next to each other unless it slid down somewhere. There it is. 
okay and just like that that's how I pull my shoes I've got a bin of listed shoes from that buyout that I have to put away right after this video but again these Jordans right here I believe if I'm not mistaken I did buy these at a pawn shop I can't remember um, but these were missing the laces and I added my own laces to these as well and they still sold the bottoms were in pretty good condition but these also sold for $80 plus shipping so again two pairs of Jordan Lowe's right there that sold for $80 even though they were missing the laces originally next up I sold a fighter jet bronze die cast collectible pencil sharpener that is going to be in this bin right here I believe this one let me get some better lighting for you so this little guy right here I bought an entire bin of fighter planes for two dollars at a garage sale with my friend Mark OG and Z we were at garage sales together and I found this and I listed all these planes Ertl ERTL I guess is like the name for a lot of them but this sold for eight bucks free shipping this is one of the cheaper ones I've been averaging selling them for about 15 to 13 dollars each and so I paid two dollars the whole bin so that's great this is one of my favorite models of shoes to sell right here these Nike free run fly knits especially the Oreo colorway I picked these up at the flea market and I think I paid like eight bucks for these the tongue was a little ripped you do have to be on the lookout for that sometimes but it doesn't really affect the shoe uh, at all I've sold them multiple times like that and they were still in really good condition I listed them for $49 plus shipping I can usually get that price but someone sent me an offer of $39 and I just decided to accept it because the tongue was ripped and I was having a really good weekend so I'm just trying to continue to move the inventory so still a good sale I sold a pair of Nike Zoom Pegasus 34s. These were like brand new without the box. And as you can see, I picked them up the wrong way, but brand new without the box. And these shoes sell for usually over $100 with the box brand new. I think I listed them for $89.99. And we were, um, I was messaging back and forth between a buyer and they sent me an offer for 50. I countered at 75. They countered at 60. I countered at 70 and they accepted. So, you know, $70. I will take it. I had $14 into these shoes as well from that buyout. So, I mean, still really good profits there. Uh, $70 plus shipping. Now, this is one of my favorite sales of the weekend. I really don't know how to explain what these are. So I'm going to use the title because I found these at Plato's Closet when I was with my friend Matt Easy. We had done some thrifting and we just stopped at Plato's one night on the way home. And I saw these. They caught my eye because they looked kind of like Air Force One style. So I grabbed them and I said, let me look these up. And I looked them up and I was kind of shocked that the same similar model of shoe was selling for an insane amount of money. These are the Nike Zoom Terminator Low. A Nike Zoom Terminator Low Atero Parque do Flamingo Rio Brazil. Okay, so there is a series of these Nike Zoom Terminator Lows that have different things on them. And these ones were at my Play-Dohs. And I believe they were marked $40. I, I, I rubbed off the uh, price tag. I'd have to go back and look at the receipt. I believe they were $35 or $40 at Play-Dohs. And I was like, you know what? Let me take a chance on these because there were so many listed, but not a lot sold. And I listed these ones for $250. I sent out some offers last night before I went to bed. And I sent out a $200 offer to watchers on these. And sure enough, they sold, baby. So let's go. $200 plus shipping. I will take that all day. All right, guys, so that's my eBay. Now I'm going to go over my Poshmark sales, which were really good. And I'm going to do it a little bit quicker than what I did with my eBay stuff, because a lot of it was shoes. I sold a pair of Wrangler fire resistant, flame resistant jeans right here for $25. This was a bins pickup, I believe. I went to the bins and I got these. And so these sold for $25 plus shipping. Really happy with that. I sold a pair of Air Jordan Turbo Liftoffs South Beach shoes this was a flea market pickup with dalton i believe we paid 20 dollars for these but obviously we have a buy cost average when we do that so this trip averaged out to about 11 dollars a pair and these sold for 70 dollars on poshmark jordans are obviously a great brand to pick up some sell for a lot some don't sell for as much so be on the lookout for those i picked this up at the bins a while ago as well this is a vintage orlando solar bears sweater on a Lee Sport tag. A lot of people ask me, how do you know stuff is vintage? Well, this tag right here is Lee Sport and it's vintage. It's also made in the USA. I had this listed pretty high because I wanted to wear it. So I listed it for $49.
someone sent me a bunch of offers and we kind of counter offered back and forth and I came to $31 and, or he came up to $31 and I accepted. I think that's pretty good for a sweater, you know? Next up, this is a pair of Hoka One One Bondi sixes in a women's size seven. I listed these for $59 and I accepted a $50 offer on Poshmark. These were in a buyout that I did with Dalton again. So, I mean, $11 buy cost, I believe. I sold a pair of vintage uh, acid wash jeans. I picked these up, I think at a thrift store. I just thought that they caught my eye. I'd never heard of the brand uh, Sassone. This might've been in my buyout with Nico. I honestly can't remember. I got a lot of clothing from him, but I decided to pick these up well, whether I picked them up or I got them from the buyout, I was wearing them at one point, but they're a little too big for me. So I listed them and they sold for full price of $39 on Poshmark. I sold this pair of Air Jordan 6 Retro Abyss Laser Fuchsias on Poshmark. Now these I've had for a while. I'm pretty sure I got these at a thrift store for like $9.99. Um, not in the best condition, lots of creasing. And uh, so these sold for $65 plus shipping on Poshmark. This was from my big $14 buy cost buyout, these Nike Element React 55 Dynamic Yellows. These were one of the, in my opinion, like lower tier pairs of shoes. I got so many good shoes from that haul. I have some listed for 199, 100 listed for 120, you know, a bunch listed in, in the $100 price range. These, I accepted an offer. I listed them for $79 and we counter offered back and forth and accepted an offer of $65 plus shipping on Poshmark. Next up, I got these Air Jordan 11 Retro Win Like 96 Gym Red shoes. I honestly can't remember where I picked these up. I wanna say it was a Play-Doh's Closet, but I don't even see the number where they put the price on them. And I'm pretty sure I got them lower than that because they did have some flaws on them. This might have been a flea market pickup when I was by myself. But I mean, even between flea markets or thrift stores or anything like that, I mean, we're talking buy cost probably around 10 to 15 bucks. Even if I put it at $15 on the high end for these uh, at the flea market, um, I sold them for $160 on Poshmark. So I had them listed for uh, 170 170 or 179 someone sent me a 160 dollars offer and i didn't even hesitate to accept i sold a pair of sketchers right here these are oxfords i got two pairs of these a black pair and a brown pair they were about a nine dollar 99 cent buy cost each and i thought they were going to be worth more but they weren't but these still sold for 60 or 35 dollars excuse me 35 dollars plus shipping i sold three other pieces of clothing on poshmark that i'm going to show you this north face this is called an oslo uh, fleece jacket. This is tagged a girl's large 14 to 16. So I didn't expect to sell this for much, uh, but uh, my automatic VA thing sent out offers and this sold for $22. I sold an Ellie Cattleman's uh, pearl snap button down shirt, Ellie Plains. This is a vintage shirt. I think this was in my buyout with Nico. And uh, this was one of the shirts like that was at a bottom of a bin. And I was like, ah, this probably isn't worth my time listing with how much stuff I got. And I decided to list it. And it, again, the, uh, the bot thing sent out offers for um, Poshmark and this sold for $24. I also sold a Nike jacket that I have to pull from my inventory, uh, but this Nike zip up running jacket right here, this sold for $27 on Poshmark. It had a couple of flaws. This was a bins pickup, some stains right there. A lot of people were leaving it uh, in the basket and I said, I can sell this for something. It's still Nike. And so it sold for $27 on Poshmark, which was great. Two more sales on Poshmark. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you are enjoying it or learning anything, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. I hope that this content helps you. I don't usually put out a lot of these weekend what sold videos because it's a lot of stuff going out. Uh, but I want you guys to see the kind of stuff that I'm selling and moving. This weekend was again, not a lot of hard goods or electronics or anything like that. I am focusing my business a lot on shoes uh, just because they're easily abundant and I can find a lot of them in my area. But I do still have a, a bunch of stuff in my shed. I will show you guys if you wanna see the grand tour at the end, uh, but let's go. I picked these up at Goodwill the other day uh, and a lot of people on my Instagram story said uh, that they were priced too high. And I figured out, you know, figured to myself, listen, you can't always get the super cheap prices, especially when thrift stores are adapting and they're making moves. They're increasing their prices. They're seeing stuff selling on eBay. It's not a, it's not a new concept. So, you know, I decided to pick these up. I paid $34.99 for these uh, Air Jordan Space Jams right here. These Concord Space Jams, I think is what they're called, uh, or Retro Space Jam 11s. 
and the $34.99 price tag ended up selling for $130 on Poshmark. I had multiple offers on these, and finally last night they sold for $130. <laughs> Last pair of shoes right here. This was in my purchase bulk buy from Uriah. These Gaviosha 2s were in pretty good condition. Really nice and clean. Still good tread on the bottom. And these sold for $47 on Poshmark. Obviously, Hoka is a great brand of shoes. Great colorway. Easy sale. So as you can see, guys, just a killer weekend of sales. I will put the total up on the screen right here so you can see what everything added up to be. Gross sale. But you obviously heard me talk about some of them and tell you what I paid for them. But clothing, some big hard goods, big sales right there. Just these two units alone was over $500 in sales, which is great. A lot of shoes. And then let's go into the shed here and I will show you guys kind of what my inventory looks like. Got my women's shoes right here. I got boots, um, all sorts of stuff. This section is random brands. We got Brooks, Dansko, Chaco, those kinds of things. And then here is my electronic section for those of you guys who have never seen it. I got VCRs, ink, radios, all sorts of stuff that's still waiting to be sold. And uh, then over here, I got some toys. I'm going to be completely condensing this entire bit shelf over here to make more bins for shoes. I want to get it all over here. I've got some, some stuff that is still selling. Um, obviously, everything in here is still for sale. Uh, this is some just random stuff that never sold for my garage sale that I have not listed or put away. Uh, just being a little bit lazy there. And then we got some random stuff, hard goods, pots and pans. I'm trying to go through these and get rid of them. These are the laser discs that I still have left. It looks like a lot, but I promise it's not compared to what I had. Zeke was playing with this in the shed. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. These are all like handy cams, digital cameras, that kind of stuff. And uh, some more down here. It's not perfect guys but whose inventory system is well actually there's a lot of people like ginger marvin shout out kathy if you're watching this she has the perfect inventory system but all my video games and stuff are over here rock band and guitar hero stuff and then just some more random things uh like you know random shonen jump magazine some vhs dvds really really old purchases that honestly i should probably just remove from ebay and uh yeah that's really about it i got some baseball gloves in here there's some random toys and figures. I got a Dyson ball vacuum that is not for sale. I actually vacuum my shed with that. And uh, then just some video game stuff, some Wii cables, accessories. And uh, yeah, so that's really the basis of my inventory right there. Got some golf clubs back here that hopefully will sell one day. And that's pretty much it. That's my shed life. I also had two sales on Mercari that I shipped out on Saturday because I usually don't do a lot of shipping on Saturdays, but these two sales were just really good, so I wanted to get them shipped out. This first pair is from that $14.50 buyout. Again, these are a pair of Air Force One Chinese New Year shoes, and they sold for $110 free shipping. They cost me about 10 bucks to ship out UPS ground. Actually, it was $8.89, but another really great sale from that buyout. And then the same buyout, I sold these on Friday. This was a pair of Air Max Plus TN University Red Shoes. These actually were one of two pairs that were in the box still. And uh, these sold for $107. I had them listed for, I think, $125. Someone offered me $100. And I said, if you meet me at $110, you got a deal. And they sent me a $107 offer. So I didn't want to be petty for $3. Uh, $3. I accepted it. And I'm happy to move that inventory. So the $300 golf bag is going to South Beach, New York, and it's costing me about $35 to ship. So still not too bad uh, considering I sold it for $300. All right, Zeke's in here. He wants to help, right? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's get a pair of shoes. We're going to do this together. Okay. We're going to do this. And this is how we pack up all of our shoes right now. So, okay, you hold the camera for a minute. All right. Hold it. Hold it in the back. There we go. Okay, we're going to get a piece of tape. <laughs> tape it up. Okay, and then you put it in the box. Here you go. Right into this one. Good job. Thank you. So the rainbow vacuum, we just finished uh, printing out the shipping label for it, or putting in the dimensions, I should say. And it's going to cost us $31.70 to ship. And the buyer paid calculated shipping, so we're doing well there. And uh, yeah, really happy. Here's how the progress is going so far. We got lots of shoes and 
random items packed up, more shoes over here, and then I still have a couple other things to pack up and pull. There's another pair of boots right there. So we're getting it done, guys. It's looking good, though. And so we are just finishing up all the sales and packaging. We got everything going on. Zeke has been a big helper helping me. He put all these packages in the wagon. We got boxes everywhere. And guys, it was just a killer, absolutely amazing weekend. God is good. We're feeling blessed. Total gross sales were just under $3,500 for the weekend. That is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that was an amazing sales weekend for us. I didn't even count how many packages we have going out or what our average buy cost was, but our profits are looking really good. As you guys can see, if you want all the net profits and all that kind of stuff, um, let me know in the comment section and I will do a little more detailed uh, with the net profits, average cost of good, the uh, average sale price, all of that, if you guys like that kind of stuff. But a $3,500 gross sales weekend is absolutely killer. That is my best sales weekend ever. So we are killing it, we are doing good. Thank you to Danny and Zeke for helping me with this crazy package. Zeke's got some Nilla wafers here. So we are going to be signing off, heading off to the post office. I got to find the other Nerf gun. That's the only thing that I'm missing that I haven't packaged up yet. And so, yeah, guys, it's been a crazy weekend and I'm just so happy, so excited. I hope this motivated you. And as you guys saw in my uh, sales, I told you guys pretty much what I paid for everything. So that'll give you an idea of the profits for now. Also, just to be aware, this video, as it's coming out tomorrow on Tuesday, I have my next WhatNot auction coming up for vintage clothing and t-shirts. I'm also going to be running some hats, but I've got some really cool shirts and clothing here. Disney, NASCAR, uh, Phantom of the Opera, all sorts of cool stuff. Sports, polo sport, b uh, band tees, and I'm going to be running some uh, hats as well. We got Foot Joy, Harley Davidson, NASCAR a vintage Budweiser hat, all sorts of stuff. Uh, at Real Monsters right there. So make sure that you check out the whatnot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Say peace money. Peace money. Uh, Zeke, do you have anything you want to say to the camera? Yeah. What do you want to say? Say see ya. See ya.